What's the haps? I'm Roker and welcome back to Rust Fusion! They have reset the scoreboards. If we have a look at that. Damn it! Uh, I guess they balanced some stuff and had to reset the scoreboards, which I guess is only fair. And I guess my old score would have fit in somewhere around the seventh mark. But they've gone, so I guess I've got to re-earn it now, huh? Okay, now I want to mess around with the new ships a little bit more. I'm going to go with a crab. Crab feels to me like it has a little bit of potential. Maybe. Just maybe. Uh, I think the one advantage I found, I mean I messed around with it a little bit, and I think the one advantage I found of it is that the sh shots penetrate. So when you get like, oh, like a big group of purple ships all appear at once, uh, you can hit them all because the shot just goes straight through the whole lot and you can deal, one shot will deal damage to a whole crowd of enemies, which is kind of nice. Oh, hello, what, is it? what are starting points? Minefield probably wouldn't get much use out of bullet time, it actually could be useful, but it's taking up one of only four slots and I don't know if I want to do that, I might want more. I think I want more firepower because I'm not convinced this ship's the most powerful of things. The utility of being able to hit crowds is nice, but beyond that, in order to actually get a shot that can take out a crowd, you have to, you, you're very much sacrificing your fire rate because you've got to charge the shots. We well, don't have to, but... I have not found the ship to be very effective if you just spam the small shots. I guess I can try to do that, but... Yeah, no. I'd rather use the big shots. So it's not firing as often, so I feel like it lacks firepower in as far as you just don't fire very often. So I want as much other things as I can to blow things up with. So that'll be a good starting point. Well, okay, I only got one thing, but whatever. Hey-ho. It's okay, it's early days. I don't need to be super strategic about placement of special weapons. I can just throw one down around here. I'll get those. That was good, that was good. I got a few of them. That worked out quite nicely, actually. That weren't so bad. I wonder if I will ever get good use of the remote bomb or if I'm just gonna throw it away. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure how to be strategic about it. Okay, so reactive shielding is unique for this ship, as is Hornet. Hornet is very, very similar to... I think reactive shielding is unique to the ship, anyway. Uh, Hornet, I'm pretty sure is. Hornet is very, very similar to wasps. You could pick up both. You could have a very insectoid ship, I suppose. And yeah, they do similar jobs. When I fire a shot, it fires extra bullets. Those bullets go and hit things. I think you can get more of them. I think you can upgrade it. Because uh, in messing around with them before, I found it. I found it shoots, it can shoot like three at a time. Still, I still don't know what drop rate means, but there we go. It might be a cooldown. I really need, to, really need to find that one out, guys. Uh, you know, Amalware guys, can you can you tell me what drop rate actually means in that context? I know some of y'all will watch it. Heine, I know you'll be watching this. Heine, tell me what that means, please. Okay, boom. There we go. Oh, that was all right. So yeah, I wonder. If I, I would. I would quite like to get wasps. Actually, wasps would go nicely with this ship. If I, if I could get a lot of passive firepower, it would make up for the fact that I don't feel like it has as much firepower up front. Oh, it's pulse. Uh, energy pulse. Yeah, I'll take the energy pulse. I've got two of the... Two of the, I guess, two of the weirder active upgrades. They're not just... You know, laser's just a big beam of raw firepower up front. Black hole is, you know, the I want everything off the screen shots. Uh, there's a few that are just, you know, pretty solid shots. These are weird ones. But they might not be so weird if I upgrade them, I don't know. I have to, I have to pick up things. Every time I use the pulse, I'm like, what am I doing with the pulse? I really don't know. It doesn't kill things. There, there better be some damage upgrades with pulse, because it doesn't feel powerful enough. At least not initially. Alright, let's see what we can do for these guys. We can blow that lot up, I guess. Oh yeah, the wave... Yeah, the wave is actually pretty good against bosses, because, you know, it's a big surface area to hit bosses with, and it sort of does the penetration damage, and it's a big hitbox on the boss. So, the wave's ain't so bad against the bosses, actually. Got that going for him. Ooh, that was a good hit. Let's throw that down as well. That wasn't so bad either. That's good. Okay. That's... Okay, that was kind of weird. Guys, boom! There we go. Blew up a boss entirely. That was nice. Uh, let's do a shockwave. Pow! Oh, nice, nice. Maybe I take it back. They're reasonably potent. 
I guess it depends on your targets. Bosses are just big juicy targets, so things are really effective. Hey! Oh, we could have bees, we could we could have bees, wasps, and hornets. I forgot about the beehive. Not the it beehive is not my first choice of weapon. I've said that before. And there are in terms of active upgrades, especially at this point in the game when I've only got two slots left anyway. I don't know that Beehive would be my first choice. I would definitely want a laser or a black hole, I think. Uh, two I would be gunning for in terms of those slots. So yeah, these guys, like I say, there's just a big group of them, and the wave will... If I fire one wave shot, it will go through the entire group. That's good. So yeah, now I've got wasps going, and i got hornets going. Just insects everywhere, which is nice. I'll be careful, though. I know there's some mechanic where uh, it's supposed to be... Oh, that was good, that was good. Uh, where the shields are supposed to be... Uh, we're supposed to absorb damage when it's when you're charging up your shots, but... I don't know. I just feel like because I'm not fighting things off actively enough... I kind of end up being squishy. That just doesn't kill those guys. Remote Bomb does, so I'm okay with that, but... The Shockwave's not a killing weapon very well. Alright, let's get a remote bomb over there. Bam, that's a killing weapon. That's good. That's cool. Uh, one of those in there. Yeah, no, so that didn't kill anything. I need a damage upgrade on that. If I've got an active weapon that isn't killing enemies, it's, it feels like, you know, it's not powerful enough. It's as simple as. I keep hearing a faint clanging noise. Is that the damage absorption thing? Is there just a moment where you can... Yeah. It's shortly after I fired a shot, if I get hit by a bullet, there's kind of a clang. And it's like, oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Hey, we have an ultimate. Good, good. I don't think I need it right to this second. I might need it soon, though. There's a lot of purples, and suddenly I'm lacking the active upgrades to take things out. Let's see what I can do. I don't want to over... Oh, God. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Woo! Ball of... Death of some sort, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Mechanically, it seems potentially kind of similar to some of the other upgrades. Some of the other upgrades are just, the ultimate upgrades are just kind of, hey, now you're invincible, fly into all your enemies. That's what that one seems to be. Uh, same one again, I guess, but... Okay, we have, okay, quick charge of phase shield. Interesting, interesting choices. Um, I'll take a phase shield, I guess. Uh, someone did comment last time that the phase shield doesn't work with the battering ram very well because when you phase, suddenly it stops your battering ram working. Is that true? I don't know if that's. I, I, because I. Well, I was there when they were developing the battering ram. I'm aware that the battering ram uh, comes with a damage dealing aura, so. Damn it, I was trying to get that. I'm trying to get both spies there. So I feel like uh, you would at least be able to deal damage, even if you weren't. Surely the battering ram would continue to have an aura. I don't know. Okay, this is not going terribly well. Let's do that, pop those guys. We need one of those. Clear something out of the top. Got another one of those. Yeah. Still feel like the crab is lacking the firepower to deal with crowds. It's not a crowd, it's not a crowd one. Oh! Damn it. That, that didn't work. See, when, it, when things get chaotic, I'm like, I've got nothing to deal with this with. I guess if I had a black hole or a laser, I, I could have done, but those have not been options. I'm left with feeble options. There was a beehive. I could have taken the beehive. And again, I've been taking some passive offense stuff, and... Well, they're not done me as good as I'd hoped. Yeah, there's... Okay, I... Definitely saw a upgrade for the shockwave there, which was damage upgrade. So yeah, I can definitely upgrade that thing. Yeah, that was good. That that cleared out a lot of things I needed rid of. But you know, I'm only five upgrades in. I don't feel like this is the point at which I should be going. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Everything's going to kill me. Yeah, no, it's far too early for that. By the time we've got seven or eight upgrades, I'm quite happy to be playing it with playing going, Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I shouldn't be doing it this early. Not, still not quite sure I'm sold on the crab. Ah! God, do that. Mobob. Ah, got a crowd, that was okay. 
I feel like it should be an effective weapon against spiders because, you know, you got the shockwave traveling the length of the string. It'll do a lot of damage to the string. Uh, you can just pretty much sever spiders, potentially. Maybe. Okay, that didn't kill the things. I wanted that to kill the red things. It just didn't do that. Boom. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was good. Use a shockwave on the string. That also works. Both those are pretty good at that. Boom. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get some damage on them. Through that crowd. I feel like we're at the end of it. Oh, come on. It flew into me. Or oh, I flew into it. A little of both. Ah, yeah, I was going to say I thought we were at the end of a thing. Hey, bosses. Let's do a boss. Cool. That was not potent. Hey, that, ooh, that killed those. And the shockwave is getting some damage on it. Yeah, that's okay. I fought this boss before with the crab, actually, and the sh again, the shockwave, just by virtue of it, it's a big bullet, and it's a big target. It doesn't do a bad job against this one. It's pretty nice. Do that, throw that down. Let's throw on there. Just because I can. Throw that as well. Hopefully the shockwave reset. Oh, the shockwave is not going to reset in time. There we go. That's got it. Not quite, anyway. All uh, right, back up there. You want to head back, and then we'll blow you up. That's really that doesn't do much, actually. I'm better off just shooting with bullets. I really think. Oh, that one went clang. Oh, that was okay. That's it. I saw that. That took a chunk off. Oh, that he completely missed. Ah, oh, I wanted to kill it with a remote bomb. Ah, oh well. Oh, I don't even get an upgrade to show for it. Oh, man. Well, actually, green bar's not so far off. We might be able to do something about getting an ult a upgrade soon. Soon, maybe. That was not that was not an effective, effective one. Nope, nope, nope. Let's do that in there. I need to get my shields back. Shields back. Bomb. That didn't kill as many things as I wanted it to. It's a shockwave. I'm in a bad place. This is a bad place. This is this is where it ends, I think. That was good. This is still not still not in a good place yet. The phase shield is keeping me alive at least a little bit. Okay, pop that there. Boom. Crowd. Give me those. There's some more damage on my shockwave. Oh yeah, the bar's filled up. Sweet. Okay, I need like armor or quick charge or dock or something. What we got? What we got? What we got? Ooh, okay. Uh, pew is just damage. I, I could go for more damage. I would clear the screen at least a little bit more effectively. Battering ram. I had moderate success with battering ram last time. Actually, I had pretty good success with battering ram last time. I don't think I need the orb attractor. No. It's going to be one of these two. Come on. Uh, flip a coin, really. Uh, battering ram, at least I can use defensively, and I do need some defense, so let's make it so. Cool. Let's do that. Yeah, that shockwave takes that out pretty well. Uh, let's do that. Let's pop a bomb here. Damn it, it didn't break the string, really? I would have thought that would have broken the string. Okay, battering ram, there we go. That did a job. Did a job nicely. We are going to need some orbs to get that up to up to full spec, but it's okay for now. We need duration on it, really. I need lots of nice, nice duration orbs. Or we could just die. Ah. Okay. Well, that was 3.5 mil. That's not quite my high score. Not quite my own, I mean, not quite remotely even my all-time high score. Uh, I did get a comment last time that said, oh, by the way, don't forget you did get a 1.3 billion score at one point. Yeah, that was way back in the mists of time before the game actually got balanced and kind of doesn't count anymore. That was when, that was when the digit was way OP and then they nerfed digit as well as a lot of the upgrades I used in that run. So I'm pretty sure you can't count that 1.3 billion run anymore. Doesn't count. Anyway, yeah, 3.8 billion, I guess, is my top score at the minute. Um, did I say billion? 3.8 million. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to, going to brush up, I suppose, but I'll leave that there for now. So thank you very much for watching. I'll 
try and get some time in on Lily as well. I think I'll probably go for a Lily run next time, see if we can do something with that. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Yeah!